Of course, walking is good for you, but did you know it can make you worry less? It gets you out of your head, which is the root of many of our problems. Well, in this edition of Lockdown Walks, we're going meta and we're talking about walking. Hello, I'm Dr. Jen and I study psychology at the University of Oxford. And I'm walking here near these lovely donkeys outside of Oxford. Now, when we go walking, did you know it's hard to worry? Our focus shifts from our thoughts, our feelings and our worries to the outside world. It's hard to worry, for example, when you're standing in front of a donkey or you're in nature. Not everyone has access to local donkeys. So even if you can look at photos of nature on your phone or your computer, you'll find it reduces stress and improves well-being. The Japanese call it forest bathing and it soothes the mind. Now, the physical act of walking, the act of moving your legs, increases oxygen to the brain, which helps you to think more clearly and improves your mood. So if you get a really bad email from your boss or a frustrating message from your sister, go out and stretch your legs. It'll help you to feel better and give you a new perspective. Walking is an act of kindness. It's that self-care thing we hear so much about these days. It's an act of compassion for ourselves. And when we're being compassionate, we become better problem solvers. We activate the part of the brain linked to optimism. So we're much more able to tackle the problems we've left behind. You don't need to go for a long walk to gain the full benefits of walking. 20 minutes is all that's needed. And research shows that walking improves your memory, but you need to walk on the day you really need your memory to gain the full effects. Like on the day of a job interview or a talk, so next time you go out on your lockdown walk, you'll find you become happier, a better problem solver, and you improve your memory. Walking is great. <laughs>